Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use sum if function in Excel. This is a mathematical formula that lets you add numbers when a certain criteria is met. So let me show you how sum if function works in Excel. I type sum if and I hit tab. You can see it takes three arguments. The first one oops, the first one is the range, the second is the criteria and third is the sum range. The first range is actually criteria range where your criteria resides. Second argument is the criteria based on which it would check in criteria range and when this criteria is met it would add the corresponding number from the sum range. A few things to note about this here is that sum if function would ignore any text or blank cells if there are in the sum range and if your criteria range and sum range length are different then it would take criteria range. So in example I take criteria range as these three and sum range as these four then Excel would only consider these three rows and not the fourth one. Now let me show you how this works. In case of criteria range I select B2 to B5 oops B2 to B5 here these numbers and in criteria I need values that are greater than 200. Now whenever you use a mathematical operator in sum if criteria then it should always be in double quotes. So in this case since this is greater than 200 I type greater than 200 within double quotes. Let me remove this yeah. in double quotes and now when I close this you can see I have not given it the third criteria which is sum range. In case I do not give sum range then it would consider that the criteria range and sum range are the same. In this case you can see my criteria is that this should be greater than 200 so this is my criteria range and I also need to sum these values only so I need not give a separate sum range. It would not hurt if you select a sum range separately but that is just redundant. Now when I hit control enter this gives me 1100 because there are two numbers that are greater than 200 here which is 700 and 400 so this gives me the sum of these two numbers. Now let me show you another example where I would use all the three arguments so I type sum if I hit tab to auto complete the function in range criteria range I select these four cells A2 to A5 and I say that my criteria is Tom. So whenever you find this criteria is met, whenever in these cells you find Tom, then you go and you add the corresponding value from the sum range and this is my sum range. So what it does is it will go, it will check since my criteria is Tom, this meets the criteria so it takes 100 and this does not meet, this does not meet, this meets the criteria, it takes 700 and this adds these two numbers, 100 and 700. So if I hit control enter this gives me 800. Now you can also use wildcard characters in your criteria. So let me show you how this works. In range I again select these cells A2 to A5 and in criteria I say that it should be any text that contains the alphabet A in it should match the criteria. So to do that I say in double quotes I say star star means any number of characters a star this means that the criteria should have a it could have any number of characters before a and it could have any number of characters after a so this is my criteria and the sum range is this so now Excel goes up here and it checks for Tom. Tom does not have A, so this is is this does not meet the criteria. It goes to Jane. Jane has A here after J. So it adds 200 to its list. Then it goes and checks for Arjun. Arjun does have A. It has A as the starting alphabet of the name. So it goes and checks 400 and it adds these two numbers since Tom again does not have A. So now when I hit control enter it gives me 600 because these two characters have A in it. You can use uh, different wildcard characters. The other wildcard character is question mark which says that if I use question mark here then it says that 
there should only be one character or one alphabet before A and there could be any number of characters after A. So now if I use this condition and I hit control enter this gives me 200 because there is only one name which has only one character before the alphabet A that is Jane. So this is how you can create a criteria in summary function and this is how summary function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.